today we'll be talking about it. Who's calling me? Oh, my phone. It's the doctor. Hey, doc. Hey, Mr. Richardson. I'm concerned. Your vitamin D level is over 100. You're toxic. What? You're tuned in to the leading vitamin D deficiency channel with specific focus in helping you overcome your deficiency. Today we'll be talking about vitamin D toxicity and what it really is and what it entails. Please note that the danger of not having enough vitamin D will always outweigh the dangers of having too much vitamin D or being vitamin D toxic. Let's first get the definitions out the way. So what is vitamin D? Vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin that is responsible for many biological processes in the body. What is vitamin D toxicity? According to the Mayo Clinic, vitamin D toxicity is a rare but serious condition and it happens when too much vitamin D is in your bloodstream. Vitamin D toxicity is caused by taking large amounts of vitamin D supplements and never by too much sun exposure or diet. What is considered vitamin D toxicity? Vitamin D toxicity is considered anytime your vitamin D level is over 100 nanograms per milliliter. High vitamin D levels alone is not enough to do any harm to your body. In fact, I don't think it does any harm to your body. The harm comes in when calcium begins to rise. This is called hypercalcemia. So vitamin D levels are basically just high calcium. These are the lab veins that you should be in if you're actually vitamin D toxic. Your calcium levels are going to be between these range if your calcium levels are below 10 milligrams per deciliter you should be fine that is actually in the normal range anything above that you have to be concerned are you tired every day trying to find answers to your vitamin d deficiency are you confused on what you should be taking and how much well i've created a guide it's right here and you can also find it down in the description below and it's going to be pinned in the comments Symptoms of hypercalcemia, decreased appetite, kidney stones. Also, let me just add to eliminate the kidney stone aspect to this portion. Just make sure you're drinking at least 2.5 liters of water per day. Kidney stones are formed by a concentrated amount of calcium. So if you, if you can dilute it with drinking 2.5 or more liters of water per day, you will be in a good state. Nausea and vomiting, constipation, dehydration, excessive thirst, frequent urination, confusion and muscle weakness, and difficulty walking. According to the Cleveland Clinic, the vitamin D toxicity can be treated by the following. Treatment for vitamin D toxicity mainly involves the lowering of calcium inside your blood. To do this, a health provider will 1. Have you stopped taking all vitamin D and calcium supplements until further notice? Two, give you IV fluids to help with dehydration. And three, give you corticosteroids in severe cases to prevent bone resorption. And what is bone resorption, you might ask? That is when the bone tissues are being destroyed, which will cause bone loss. In rare cases, due to severe kidney damage, you may need hemodialysis to get rid of the excess calcium how should you prevent vitamin d toxicity from happening is by one always make sure you're taking vitamin k2 and magnesium these two are calcium antagonists which means they block and control calcium and two you should be taking other helper vitamins to help mitigate the risk to conclude vitamin d toxicity only occurs when you take too much vitamin d without the help of vitamins I talked all about these helper vitamins inside of my vitamin D deficiency guide right here. Again, link is in the description and in the pinned comment section. But again, for every 10,000 I use of vitamin D that you take, you need to be taking 100 micrograms of K2 with that. So if you're taking 20 I use, 20,000 I use of vitamin D, you should be taking 200 micrograms of K2 along with the other helper vitamins and ensure you get 350 milligrams of magnesium for women and 420 milligrams for men each day so that's all i have for you today guys remember vitamin d toxicity is very hard to 
B vitamin D toxic unless you're doing everything wrong. And if you are, I have created the guide to help you so you don't make any of these mistakes because vitamin D toxicity, although it is rare, it, if it happens to you, it can be definitely life-threatening. So if you want to take all the guesswork out of it, you can get my guide below. And until next time, guys, I'm going to see you in the next video. Peace.